Hello YouTube, Ready Reptiles here with another video and in today's video I'm going to take you guys along my travels from here in Miami, Florida all the way to St. Petersburg. Right now it's about 10 p.m. at night on uh, April 30th so you'll see clips from tomorrow obviously is which one we're going to travel. Today's a Thursday, tomorrow's a Friday and tomorrow's travel day. But in this video you're going to see the whole process from here to St. Petersburg where I'm going to put my newest rescue blue and gold McCall. Gibby, Gibby is a 10 year old male I'm being told and the people that own him previously cannot take care of him anymore because they're moving into a new area and you just don't you know want to take the bird with them at the moment they do love and care for the bird 100 percent, and that is not the issue they just you know their circumstances for their new house uh, they cannot allow the bird to go in so i'm gonna go pick up gibby i'm glad they trusted me with the uh responsibility of taking care of the mccall as you guys know i already have another blue and gold male named buster so we're gonna get his enclosure we're gonna get all that stuff and we're gonna you know bring it from st petersburg down here to miami so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started all right guys so right now it is 6 a.m it is the next day that clip you guys saw previously before this one was yesterday thursday today is friday right now like i said it's 6 a.m in the morning just waiting for my family to wake up we're all gonna load the truck eat breakfast do what we need to do and then head all over to st petersburg just to pick up gibby the new blue and gold mccall so stay tuned all right guys so before we head out to st petersburg i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna bring on the trip just to put the blue and gold mccall in right here is a small dog cage this is where i transfer buster when i go to the vet when i go to other places so it fits the bird perfectly you know they like to climb on the sides you like to stay on the bottom so for the lining i brought a nice thick towel it's about folded a couple times just to give it cushion like that if the bird also poops and pees it'll pee on that i brought a replacement towel for the bottom and or if i need to you know lay over the top of the cage just to make this uh you know the less stress possible for the bird as far as food you know it might not eat because it is going to be stressed during the travel but i brought the three pelletized mix blend that i make here you know like i mix it up for the birds i brought some macaw treats and you know a few peanuts just to give a treat for the bird as far as water, I'm gonna try seeing if it eats out of this, uh, drinks out of this water feeder. If not, I brought an extra little bowl that I can pour some water in, and you know, hopefully, you know, it'll drink out of that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, right now, it'll go in the bed of the truck, but once I get the bird, it'll be inside the the, the truck as well with me and my family. So hope you guys enjoy that. of the drive up there and then in the next clip you guys will see when we arrive. guys so we picked up gibby the blue and gold mccall gibby is actually eight years old i was told and the family that had him loved them and everything they just were moving to a new area and they couldn't take the bird with them as you can see behind us in the bed of the truck we have cages perches shower stands toys and everything that they had for the bird this cage right here is what i transport my my other blue and gold mccall buster in as you can see gibby is you know he's just feeling things out right now he's a super pretty bird and obviously they're super intelligent and i've had experience with buster already so i'm happy that i'm going to get another one like that they can both be together eventually and obviously you know create that bond that they have and just be in a, in a pair as well you know even though they're both males macaws will bond to each other eventually obviously with the right you know process and it's just going to be awesome for them to just spend time with a, you know, someone of their own species because i i'm a firm believer of getting animals in pairs or trying to get animals in pairs so like that they can uh, learn from each other and like that you see the full potential of the species and you can see all the behaviors that come with it so once again here's gibby you know in the next clip you'll see uh, some b-roll shots of big of uh, gibby and uh, all these things so hope you guys enjoy and you know it's a very awesome beautiful
All right, guys, so I just made it home from St. Petersburg. As you can see on top of my shoulder is Gibby. Now, here is one of the perches that Gibby came with. He also came with a full cage for him and another metal perch that he supposedly likes to hang out on. So it's gonna be a work in progress just to get uh, Gibby used to the area that he is in because you know he is an eight year old bird and they have their own habits already. So once uh, Gibby gets used to me and you know Gibby starts to meet Buster and they just both you know learn from each other, uh, we'll be able to put them together and hopefully you know just get a be two beautiful birds going. Uh, Gibby's a lot, uh, you know, looks a lot more, uh, I would say healthier just because Buster's a lot older as well. So we're gonna get two different looks from the birds, two different ages. So once they both, uh, you know, just get used, well, once Gibby gets used to the area, we'll have, a, you know, two happy birds. So I just wanted to bring you guys this. I'll show you some clips next of the cage he came with, some of the toys and stuff, and then we'll get more clips of Gibby. I also wanna, you know, do this clipper here just to make people aware that when you do go out and get a parrot, and uh, obviously here I have two blue and gold macaws, Buster is on his outdoor, outdoor perch right now, but he would be also behind me on his perch, and this is Gibby's indoor perch, so they're gonna sleep in the same room together. But when you go out and, you know, you try to buy a parrot, you must understand that they're a big responsibility. I've gotten both these uh, animals through rehoming, and there's nothing wrong with rehoming your animal, and the circumstances may be different for everyone. And I also wanted to say that, you know, Gibby's previous owners obviously loved him very much, and it's not that they can't care for the bird, it's just that they uh, obviously have, they told me that they had three other cats, and uh, the cats uh, obviously, you know, didn't like the bird as well. So circumstances also make the opportunity when it comes to rehoming your animal. As you can see here, Gibby is still getting used to me. Uh, he's kind of taking in all the smells, the new sights and all that stuff. So he doesn't trust us 100% yet just because we went through transportation and all that, but this is a very big progress. So I just wanted to also include this clip so you guys can understand that when taking in uh, large parrots or just any animal in general, there is a big responsibility behind that. And also wanted to give you guys a little bit of background of why he was rehomed. It's not because they couldn't care for him, it's just because um, you know the other animals that they had in the household kind of been paired with the responsibility of owning a parrot. All right guys, so here's the cage that he came with. Uh, I was told that he's never really inside the cage, but uh, I'm gonna use it for now. You know, obviously I'm gonna repurch it. Uh, you know, they came with a lot of toys and stuff, but I'm gonna make it, you know, more enjoyable for the bird just so that he has more spaces to climb around. What I'll do is I'll put this cage inside my reptile room, leave it open just so he can come in and out like that. I have a place to keep him inside. Uh, I was thinking about leaving him in the person you guys saw, but uh, I don't really uh, like it as far as a way for him to just hang around and sleep on it. So I'd rather just keep that outside and, you know, move it wherever I go. So this will probably go inside the reptile room. Here, right here is a bathroom perch. And obviously you suction cup it to the glass and they can shower. So I will be using this for Buster and for Gibby as well. And then right here is another perch, which is probably the one that I'll keep outdoors. Or if I want to keep him to sleep indoors, I'll bring it inside as well. And as you can see, there's a whole array of toys that he was chewing on. And it's very important to keep toys inside your, tor uh, not your tortoise, but your, your macaws enclosure because uh you know they bite at it they break things up they destroy macaws are, must destroy things and that's what's very important so as you guys can see we got this perch we got the bathroom perch then we got this big cage plus the perch that you saw inside and then of course gibby the macaw so you know this is pretty much all the materials that it came with you know it came with a little bit of food but obviously i have my own diets for my macaws and obviously fresh veggies in the morning and sometimes occasionally fruit so i just wanted to show you guys everything it came with and then this right here, guys, is Buster. Buster is my male blue and gold macaw. Another one that I have, you know, it's my original male. As you can see, he's playing with some rope. I make him his own toys with a plastic chain and some PVC pipes. And we made this outdoor perch for him. His wings are clipped, so he really won't go anywhere. And he's never been enclosed in his entire life. So that's why I keep him outside. So as you can see, there's a difference between the looks and the size and the age of, the, of these birds. So that's why they look different. And uh, obviously, excuse the background as my, my parents are making a happy birthday video, but I wanted to share this with you guys. So as you can see, he's a little bit angry now because it is hormonal season for these animals. Uh, they're going through a breeding season and uh, you know, they just want to pair up and stuff. So here's Buster. And just so you guys know, we are scrubbing down the cage and all the stuff that came with it. Uh, as you can see, here's the pan that goes under the, the cage and you know, the cage had poop and stuff. So we're just gonna scrub it down and uh, you know, keep it all nice and clean. All right, guys, so here is Gibby one more time inside the reptile room. This is where I keep some of my iguanas, incubators, some of the snakes. You know, I just finished cleaning that, another snake enclosure. There's Buster. But I wanted to show you guys where Gibby and Buster sleep at night. I bring all my birds inside 
uh, you know, the, at least the big ones because they don't have enclosed areas outside. So like that, they can stay safe from predators and obviously weather and things of that sort. Uh, you know, they'll they'll be safer indoors. So this room is a has a little bit of AC as well. So they're going to be nice and, uh, you know, chill and obviously not going to overheat or anything. So I decided to put Gibby's cage in here. Obviously, uh, he's not going to be in here all the time. But when he is in here, this perch suffices enough. He has a big, uh, you know, swing stand back there. Some toys I can mix and match food and water as well he's pretty much just gonna have the door open all the time as you can see i tie wrapped it so i won't be able to close it anyways like that he can just come in and out as you please eat, eats uh drink water and that he'll just chill on top and then here is buster buster obviously is a lot older than gibby gibby's eight years old buster is 22 years old so you know the the looks and appearances and you know where they came from previously obviously impairs how the bird will look but we're here to correct everything as you guys can see uh these parrots are eating a three mix pelletized diet I feed everything Zupreme here. So I get a Zupreme fruit blend and then I get some, uh, you know, Zupreme biscuits. And then there's another uh, mix in here that has uh, dried up fruits and dried up veggies as well. So once I mix all that, they eat that, you know, midday in the mornings, they will get fresh veggies, fresh fruits whenever I, you know, can give that to them. Obviously vegetables are gonna be a staple for them, but fruit is every once in a while just because it has a lot of sugar. And obviously as we know, sugar for most animals isn't the best. So here is Buster, you know, water dish, food dish. This is just an indoor perch for when uh, weather, you know, doesn't see fit to put them outside or it gets too cold or obviously when they're sleeping, which is every night. So they come in here, lights go off, the birds will chill inside the reptile room and everything is monitored. Plus I come in here all the time. So I wanted to share that with you guys, just show you guys where the birds go at night, how they are doing. And, you know, here's Gibby. All right, guys, so I wanted to bring you guys this clip and explain to you guys, it's going to take Gibby a couple days, maybe even a couple weeks just to kind of establish himself and familiarize himself with the area. Because remember, he is coming to a place where there are new sights, new smells, new people. It's a completely new area for him, a new habitat. So he doesn't really understand where he is. And since he just went through a long process in the car ride in the cage, uh, I'm just going to give him his time. As you can see, he's doing very well. And like I said, explained previously, he's not an aggressive bird or anything. He just has habits that were created by his old owners. And, uh, you know, he's just familiarized with the different environments. So once he establishes himself and gets used to everything, we'll be able to take him outside. You know, obviously we'll get Buster and him to just join forces because it's just cool to have two parrots that are, are bonded and can have this relationship. Once each parrot is individually bonded to me, I will then introduce them to themselves like that. I can have an individual relationship with each bird and they can have a mutual relationship with each other. They will not spend all the time together and that's just so that when they are together they tolerate each other and not want to destroy themselves so i'm going to bring you guys gibby and there is buster so as you can see this is like i said previously this is their indoor area and they'll just spend time in here throughout the night and the days that the weather doesn't see fit so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe rate comment likes and see my fellow herpers thank you for following along the process of this video and if you guys want more info and want to see more daily content follow me on instagram at ready reptiles thanks for watching